Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. You ask, we investigate. School nurses are there to help with everything from minor cuts and bruises to serious medical issues. You may remember visiting one as a student. But budget cuts have forced nurses in the largest school system in Alabama, Mobile County, to rotate nurses. News 5's Jacqueline Quinn is live in our newsroom with more on this story. Jackie? Ros Roseanne, a school is not a clinic, but by law, some nursing services are provided to certain students with special needs to attend. But now one parent is speaking out against what she feels is a shortage in nurses at schools, and she's concerned it could affect many other students' health and safety. He will just, you know, have those um, symptoms of dizzy and lightheaded off his feet, could possibly pass out or go into a coma. Kendra Pierce's son tries to be like any other student in his class at Florence Howard Elementary, but he has diabetes, a condition that requires a nurse to give him insulin three times a day. Uh, one incident, a nurse didn't show up. Sometimes they are late. Pierce says it's happened several times since the start of this year, mainly because her son's school doesn't have a full-time nurse. My main concern is the Mishas, but I am also speaking out for other parents and other schools that don't have a school nurse. There are 90 schools in the district and 91 nurses, but certain facilities with special needs children have up to eight nurses. That's why some rotate. So you have a group of approximately 15 registered nurses who have to cover between three and six schools in a single day. Jesse McDaniels with the Alabama Education Association says he's advocating to change this after overworked nurses ask the group for help. So those folks uh, really are stretched to the maximum. In comparison, Baldwin County has a nurse staffed at each of its 45 schools. 16 are funded by the state, the rest through a penny tax. But Mobile's system is different. We have a shortage of nursing because of the, of the funding. Dr. Wanda Hannon is the health services director for the Mobile County Schools. She says the treatment is to get help from the state. We have a school nurse bill in the state of Alabama, and that school nurse bill says there will be nurses in every school according to the funding. And for now, that will leave parents like Pierce with a lot of worry. Someone is going to be shorthanded and not get a nurse. In addition to rotating nurses, Dr. Hannon tells us there are nurses on call. The issue at Florence Howard may have had to do with a nurse leaving, and she says things are expected to get back to normal. But again, they're still working to get more funding. In the newsroom, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5.